Hello, this is Mr. Nyla74. Today, I am playing World of Warcraft PTR for Dragonflight. I think that it's just the uh, pre-patch. So we're going to go through it, show some of the new features that it has so far. Let's see, auto loot. So I don't have any add-ons on this right now. I don't know if any of the add-ons work. There's probably a few that work for it. And one of the new things with Dragonflight is this edit mode. And this edit mode it's like a bartender. So you don't need bartender anymore. There was another add-on like that I use called uh, move anything and this kinda does what that one does too but there's some things that it doesn't do yet that I wish it did set up my interface here And I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make these bars smaller. Come down to 70%. not letting me move this experience bar. So with the number one action bar, I made it into two rows and the number two action bar. Let's see. Pet bar. Don't need it for this character because this character is a warrior. I do like to play Warlock and a little bit of Hunter, not too much Hunter anymore. And one thing that it seems that Bartender had this uh, default uh, blizzard setting blizzard has it doesn't have a thing where like bartender you could click on a bar 
and you could click on positioning and you could center it horizontally or center it vertically and I would like for this to have it oh yeah you don't really need that because what you can do is you bring up this grid and then you can see everything if it's centered or not based on your grid so that's pretty cool So, let's see, target, that's me, target, there we go, and that's going to be pretty annoying if it doesn't let me, okay, it does let me do the focus. Also, in Bartender, it had little slider bars like this and uh, up and down buttons where you could where you can move whatever frame you're trying to to adjust. Let's see in the focus. I think I'll put it right here. I don't use focus too often, but. About the only time I use focus is if I'm playing a hunter or a rogue, and I want to put the focus on uh, the tank so that I can do uh, misdirect to the tank or with the rogue, what it's the tricks of the trade. Okay, so I like this. Chat's already where I want it to be. This guy, I think I'm going to move him down here. Normally, I'd put recount right here. I don't know if recount works for this yet. thing I want to move is the buffs and debuffs. Put the buffs there. think that I have everything set the way I want it to be right now. Alright, I had to take my dog out and started crying. That dog knows he can make me do just about anything when I hear him crying. So I wish they would let you move this stuff with this new UI thing, but it doesn't appear that they let you do that yet. Let's change this. Oh, I'll let you change the size of it. Objective tracker. 
just the height. think that I've moved everything that I want to move on this. <coughs> Another thing, on this action bar, my number one action bar, they got number one here going this way and coming up this way. I'd like it to go the other way around. But it doesn't look like they let me do that. Cast bar. Let's see, it's behind all this stuff. So. snap. Looks like when you move it and it snaps to the nearest bar. So for this cast bar. I need Ooh, looks like it's messing up. start wow real quick see if that fixes it but I did I just clicked on this little question mark here and it brought up the game menu and then I was able to go back cast bar saving that as and I called it my UI so when I go into another character all I gotta do is go into this drop down menu and click on my UI and I can bring up the same oops I gotta put that bar back I can bring up the same UI setting for another character. Or I can make a new one. But this is pretty much what I'll use for all characters. Alright, everything looks good. Let's see. Got some macros on here. Got my mount ones on there already. Let's see. I got these little chat macros I can use so I don't have to type. One 
resets, reloads, wow. See this one I used to use to switch talents, but it doesn't work anymore. See, I had one that was just called Macro, in case I needed to get into my macros. There it is. And then I got, uh, I got one called Loot. I don't really need it. bad, but I like to have the choice of having it on there. Maybe it isn't on there no more. There it is. Loot. It brings up the loot rolls. Okay. So. Now this bar the way it is, it troubles me that I can't switch that. Let me make sure there's not a way for me to switch that. Orientation horizontal. Icon padding. Padding just has to do with the size of them or something. Action bar settings. Yeah, there's not a way. It doesn't give you any kind of option to reverse that right now. I could remap all my buttons and stuff play with it and see how it feels. See if it's really much of an issue for me. So, that's the new UI features for Dragonflight. And I believe my talents are reset for this character. So I'm going to redo my talents. So, in this, in Dragonflight, it looks like most of the abilities that you get, you're going to get from the talent tree. Some of them, I guess, you still learn as you level up. This is nice because I think before you had to get a get this uh, passive ability at a higher level. Now you get it at a lower level, so it's easier for your rotation of abilities. And then you get a third charge once you're able to get all the way down here. Increase your haste. Okay, that's all of them for that. So this is your your specialization for the class Fury. And if it was on, if I was in arms, it would switch to arms. And then this one is the basic overall warriors. Your auto attacks generate 20 more rage. That sounds good. And there's a lot of like survivability talents and damage talents and other stuff in there. And then 
you can get Thunderclap, even if you're in Fury. Which ain't a bad thing. And in, uh, like in Fury, I think it's more of a debuff than a damage kind of thing. For a Protection Warrior, it's like a AoE. Let's see. Movement speed increased 5%. I'm not going to really need Thunderclap because I got Whirlwind. Whirlwind causes, okay, that's the, like the meat cleaver. That'll be cool to have. blows. So I can either take this or Thunderclap right now. Or this. I'm not going to really, I'm not a PvP -er, so probably never going to use defensive stance. Spell Reflection, that's good to have as a, uh, protect yourself from magic damage. So I think I'm going to go with the speed for now. And then once you fill out the talents that you want, you click Apply Changes. And I believe it lets you go in there anytime you want and change it. It might not let you do it in a dungeon or in the wilderness. I'll have to check that out. And I'm sure when the game is live, they're probably going to have a... I'm sure a lot of people are going to have a, On websites and YouTube videos, they're going to have a, videos of the best talent settings. go with and it looks like it's going to be really situational let's see I'm not going to have that there I don't even have thunderclap this I already got in the macro there's my impending victory bloodthirst See, normally when I get it, I'd have Rampage there. And if I still get that uh, ability... Yeah, I'll go ahead and queue for a dungeon. Probably nobody queuing up because it's just a PTR. Um, what's that ability called? It's a heal over time ability that you can spend your rage on. And I usually put that at the uh, number four slot. If I'm questing and stuff like that, I'll I'll uh, attack stuff and spam it to keep myself healed. It's really great for questing and stuff. Maybe you might not get it as a as a uh, fury. They let you have it in fury before. But not now. And it was really good for questing and stuff. And it doesn't look like it might be over here. They shouldn't make you take have to level up too far to get it because it's good for questing and stuff. Don't see it on here. Maybe only prop warriors get it. Maybe armed. You can get shockwave too. That's pretty cool. Oh well, you can get that for a long time in the talents. They've let you do it. And it doesn't look like they have it on here. I forget what it was called. 
I'll show you the specialization tree. So right now I'm in Fury. I'm going to go into Prot. And see, I just want to, I forget what the name of the ability is called. And I want to see Ignore Pain. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. That's a damage reduction. This one was a heal. Devastate. Help Revenge is still an AOE ability. So it looks like, well, I'll go back to the talents here in a moment, but, so even when I switch specs, it changes, I'll need to change the AI for the spec so you can customize, um, I mean the, the uh, UI. So this is the one I created earlier for my Fury Warrior. And I'm going to put it on Prot here. And then if I go back into the Talents. So the Talent Tree for this is kind of cool. It's kind of like a like the talent tree the way they have for a lot of action RPG games like Diablo 2 II and 3 or well 3 didn't have it like this like that ticked a lot of people off uh, but Diablo 2 and like Grim Dawn and uh, what's that other popular one people play POE see that ability on here that I'm thinking of. Let's see, right now he's got Devastate. He's got Whirlwind. Devastator. I don't like Devastator. That's where you auto attack instead of using Devastate. I hate that. I want to have a a button to press. I my play style. I like to. Uh, I always like to be pressing buttons. I hate auto attacking. threat. Maybe I'll need it the way they set it up, but maybe not. Shield wall. Unless you get that ability default at a certain level. I don't see it on here. It was really cool for Prot, and it was cool for Fury, too. I think you could use it as uh, arms. People probably hated it in uh, PvP.
right, we need the talent in the thunderclap. You could have that leech. Devastator. I, I think a lot of people like it. Maybe they don't like it anymore. I don't like it. I always liked being able to spam Devastate. Even if, like, your AoEs were. if it had rampage in the talent tree there it is rage regeneration is decent cooldown So you can, uh, I mean, you have a lot more choice than this. I'm sure that it's going to be determined that you need this or that ability to do high enough damage to be included in the raids and stuff like that. I'm in the Dungeon Finder, but this is a PTR, so most likely I'm not going to get in to a dungeon. See, I'm level 20. The dungeon, I was in the classic dungeon queue. Alright, people, so you've seen the new AI options and the talent options. So I'm going to cut this video short, and I'll probably make a newer video some fighting and some questing. Have a good day.